Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Duar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Thursday, the 30th day of April. Here we go. Last one on uh, harvesting. And remember that harvesting, something you're not allowed to do on Shabbos, can actually be, um, can actually make prohibited dealing with trees, as we said in our last two halachas. So today's is, you know that you can't lean on a tree on Shabbos. The rabbis felt that if they allowed people to lean on trees, it would lead to people snapping branches, messing with the tree. So they just said, do not lean on a tree. We already told you that. But what's called leaning? Um, you know, there's a lean and there's a lean. So the halacha basically says it like this. If you lean on a tree such that you're leaning so hard that if the tree was suddenly removed, you would lose your balance, well, that means you're leaning on it and that's what you can't do. If you're leaning on it so gently that it's such a gentle lean that if it was taken away suddenly, you would not lose your balance, then that's not really called leaning and that would be permitted. Okay, next thing. Let's say you're on a tree but um, and you're not really leaning on it so hard, but it's moving around a little bit. That too is prohibited. If you're leaning on the tree in such a way that um, you're causing it to move, then that is then you're not allowed to do that. Um, also, you can't hang your jacket onto a tree. That would also be called using a tree. And also, you can't lean a chair against a tree. That would also be called using a tree on Shabbos. And you're not allowed. You're not even allowed to, believe it or not, leave your jacket hanging on a tree from before Shabbos. The, the reason for that is because, uh, you, I mean, you did it all before Shabbos, and that's fine, but it might lead you to take that jacket off of the tree on Shabbos, and therefore you can't leave it there uh, from before Shabbos because it may make you take the jacket off of the tree on Shabbos. Um, a swing... So you might say, oh my gosh, so I have a swing installed on my tree. I don't use it on Shabbos, as I shouldn't, but does that mean I have to uninstall the tree every Friday afternoon? And the answer is no. Uh, we know generally that people aren't going to uninstall a swing, or when they, and they know not to use it on Shabbos, so we're not worried. See, the jacket that you put there on Friday afternoon, you may quickly want to take off the tree because it might rain or something, but we're not so worried about that kind of situation uh, when referring to a swing that's permanently installed on a tree. So go ahead and permanently install a swing on a tree if you like, and you don't have to remove it every Friday afternoon. Um, mukta can be left on a tree for that same kind of idea, and that's because a mukta item is something that you're not going to be messing with on Shabbos. So we say, well, fine, then go ahead and leave it on the tree. I don't expect you to be doing anything with that mukta item on Shabbos. So if you want to leave that... Um, hmm, can't think of a good example. Some uh, mukta item, let's just say, hanging on the tree from before Shabbos. Go ahead and do that if you feel like it, because uh, we, we're not afraid that you're going to do anything with it on Shabbos. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. That wraps up all of our laws on harvesting. Bye-bye.